Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to episode 56 in my second Let's Play series for Anno 1800. Now in the last episode, we continued plugging the gaps in our consumer goods, squeezing a little bit more out of Inbesa to fully meet our scholars' demands. Today though, a bit of a change of pace. We're back in the old world and we're going to be focused just on the island of Malahide as we attempt to increase its population and make it self-sufficient with a beauty overhaul at the end. Now, a comment in the last episode said you should try and add artisans to the island, as obviously they look quite good, and try to do it in a self-sufficient way, so not relying on things coming in from other places, which is perfect because we could redirect shipping lanes and stuff like that here and trade routes, but we don't really have that much influence to add extra ships, and I feel like it will just slow down our delicate balance as it is. Now, obviously, I can spam more investor houses and just keep constantly pushing for more influence, but I'm content. It's a never-ending loop that way. I'm content with what we've got. So instead, I thought we'd take on this mini-challenge, mini I guess you could say, of building up this island and making it self-sufficient, seeing how far we can push the, end, uh, the artisans, and then beautifying it at the end once we're happy with how many we've got. So, just to give you a recap as to what this island does and where it is, we are just south of the factory island of Lusk, so if we just head south, there we are. The Island of Malahide, current beer festival going on. They've got Niter, which I think was one of the main reasons we wanted it back in the day. I think we actually got this off of Margaret, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's also got two zinc deposits, six oil springs, some iron and clay. So currently the situation is we have workers and uh, farmers on the islands. I always want to call them villagers. And uh, we're not maxed out for workers yet. We're just shy of 750 workers to unlock uh, the ability to place the school here and use it. And for them to use it to grow to their full potential. So, that's easy enough. I guess we'll just uh, upgrade a few more workers here. Or, uh, <laughs> upgrade a few more farmers, eh? Sorry, I had the uh, upgrade thing turned off. Um, that should be enough. Let's just try a little bit more. Probably going to need them anyway. And uh, we'll just have to keep up with their production rates and make sure we're, we're doing okay with them. So I, I was thinking that it would make sense to set up a Docklands here because there is actually a few ships that visit this place. So let's type Malahide and then we can see that there's four different trade routes that are coming here. Actually five if you include the bread. So bread is just a charter route that goes between Malahide and then um, Scaries, delivering just a little bit of bread over to them to give them that extra, extra workforce for the iron mines and stuff over there I believe. Uh, so let's see, that's the construction route that delivers things everywhere. Iron collection, yes, it does produce iron, so we collect that. Malahide's own production, so it's producing, overproducing, I guess, niter and schnapps, weirdly. And that's been taken to scaries. Alright, so just like the bread, really. We could probably get rid of that charter route and just take schnapps and bread, and that would probably be a little bit better, eh? I reckon so, and that frees up a route in case we do need to do something else with it. So let's just do that. I'll we'll just say okay to that. It's also good then going to rush. Hopefully that's all right. I don't know. We'll see. Delicate balance to be messing up these things at this point, but we'll see. Can always just keep an eye on it. It's fine, I guess. Did I hit accept on that? There we go. So that's the, the ship here. Okay, it's got nothing on it, so it should be fine doing that. This is a complicated route. Oh, it's because of all the different pin drops I've made. God, the shipping lanes outside of Lusk are so busy. Uh, but I kind of love to see it. So, I guess I also decided, for whatever reason, to add clay onto this route to bring it from swords to lusk. I'm going to delete that off of it. This is the Malahide production. We'll keep it consistent with where it should come from. But, now that we freed up a another charter route, we can add another clay charter route between here. Uh, select the goods. There you go. There and there. So basically all the brick factories are down here, so we just pick up the clay and send it down. This doesn't have to be done at any particular rate. It's not that important really, but you know, good to have it done. Uh, did I do that properly? I think so. Yep. Alrighty. Uh, so let's get to work. So I thought Docklands would be a good thing to set up here. Just really quickly before we do, um, I'm going to pick up some glass and bring it over from our factory island. Some windows, sorry. And like I said, we're just going to slam these things down and then in time lapse, I'll go over it and make things look a little bit better. So we need a Docklands main wharf. And I guess you could always, you could slam that out if you wanted to, but like I said, we'll work on that later. 
And the reason for this is, if you want it to be self-sufficient, I mean, you could do it anyway with the iron that we produce here and make canned goods, I'm sure. Actually, no, you can't, because we ultimately wouldn't be able to get red pepper and stuff like that here if you want to make um, goulash. So we'll just see what we can bring in via the docklands and contracts and things like that for the artisans. Uh, so they probably have enough workers now to get their school, so I guess we'll just pop that down as well. Yep. Awesome. So it'll grow to 20, and then we can get our first batches or batch of uh, artisans and see how they look. Alright, modules. So I don't know how much storage we really need on this island, but I guess we can pop down a little bit there. Uh, a couple loading wharfs for good measure. And then we're going to need exports office for the actual contracts. Something like that. What else could you do? Harbor master? Yeah, why not? It's, you don't have to pay any influence for it, so it's a good kind of harbor master thing to have. Maybe, actually, hmm. Maybe it would be good to have a production focused Docklands, because I don't actually really have that. And that way you could boost the nider production here, the salt petter. Might be a good idea. We can make whatever we want, right? Pretty much. So let's have a look. See if we can find anything that's going to affect salt header works. Harbor master items. Uh, it doesn't look like it. I mean, this says salt header works and harbor master items. Not seeing anything. Trade unions. That's just all production. Um, I'll look at that in between. I guess I'll, I'll think about it, but I I don't know. Didn't see anything there immediately. you think there'd be some sort of item that works with salt better. I wish you could almost just search, like, just show me the ones that specifically work with it. I know it's... I know most people would want to see the all production buildings anyway. Affects all coastal production. There you go. 35%. Sticky, shiny claws. So that's going to be coming from Nate, I think, is it? Yeah. Hmm, I might make a note of that really quickly. Let me just break out my notepad. Shiny claws. See what he caught, what it costs to make. Uh, let's see what else we got. This one affects it. Salt pedder works. Fine handled power auger. But it's equipped in a trade union. I need it to be in a harbor master office. Is this what about this one? That's a harbor master office. So I guess I'll have to just go like that. Okay, this gives us the full. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So I guess just in the research institute, nothing, nothing too cra uh, crazy there. But there you go. It provides electricity to coastal production buildings. The race ratioated super spinner, ratioated. So again, I don't need to write that down. It's just old Nate again. And then the greedy emits the lower uh, thing of that. So you could have. 60% productivity increase and provide electricity. Seems alright. I mean, if you can do it, I feel like we should, right? It's a nice, kind of an interesting challenge. And then we could even build the salt petter out on the water, in a way. I was thinking of doing it here. I know the coast is shorter, is smaller, but it's just because it's a much shorter distance to that area and the ships are just going to come right here and they'll get that all those loading benefits. But this is uh, a bigger stretch of land if we were to have... So we can move the fisheries over to the other side. Hmm. It's fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> we'll fix it later. We'll fix it in post. Uh, I guess I should have really thought of this before I began the episode, but... Yeah, I think I think we'll stick at this side. We'll put the Docklands over here. We'll keep the main... War uh, the main uh, trading post here also and we'll move things like maybe the fishing out there out to the sides or something if they don't need to be there and that way you can really ram this place full of salt pepper because we're actually short on it so it, it makes sense to want to do it it's not a big deal but we do bring it in through here I think yeah we bring in 270 so it would be great if you didn't have to do that you know so I guess we'll work towards that it's a nice little goal I think um, okay so artisans I wonder how many we'd need. I'm kind of I'm gonna intersperse them between the workers. Um, that's the plan anyway. An aviary is fine. Maybe not we're not gonna get 1,500, but maybe 
Well, yeah, we'll easily get at least 250. Also. Maybe we'll just cap them at 250, or just over that, you know? Not before 900. Fur coats is a bit of a pain to get, but we could try. I'll just take you anyway. Right, let's, let's give it a go. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> and see how that works out for us. And then I'm going to make little communities, pockets of communities in different places. I forgot as well, we could change one of the fertilities if we really wanted to. Although we probably don't. We want to keep potatoes and grain for the different things we get. Alright, um, did I bring that ship back? I did not. So that was for Windows to continue this. And then we can set up export contracts. We don't need to look at that until we start going through the production chains. Which will be soon, but not yet. Just gonna take a quick drink. I'm super, super thirsty today, like crazy. I woke up during the night feeling very unwell. I thought I was actually gonna get sick, <laughs> but uh, I didn't. But anyway, something's something's passing through, I guess. <laughs> um, but uh, no sign of what yet. Basically, I had a Chinese last night. That's probably something to do with it. Um, anyways, right. So we got the. Uh, Got the windows. Let's see if we can upgrade some of those contracts. The horizon, where the fire of freedom rises. Destroy quests. It's kind of tempting. No. Anyway, the wind blows, eh? we will not just not just for cash. Um. Hmm. What do we need? A pinch of salt. Steel beams. All right, no problem. Okay, so that's pretty much set up. Let's have a focus back here then. So let's have a look. You reward our hard graft. Mm hmm. Let's get even more houses, and we'll probably leave it at that. See how that's kind of shaping out. Shaking out. So, statistics consumer goods. So, fish is fine. Schnapps is fine, although we do bring it to other islands. Work clothes is okay. Sausages are fine as well, which I'm amazed by considering the fact that we just put down a load of artisans, but okay. Bread is okay as well. Soap is through the roof. But beer, canned goods, and sewing machines we're having issues with. But we're keeping it self-sufficient, remember. Doesn't matter if we've got loads of it elsewhere. We're going to try and make it on this island. So beer, let's start with that. What brings you here, master? So we need hops and malt to make beer. And then quite a lot of actual um, workers as well. But one brewery should do it. Now, it, you could bring in beer, right? Potentially. And exchange it for something else. Like if we've got too much fish, or... What did we have a lot of, actually? Let's just check that again. Soap. Yeah, maybe. Seeing as soap is actually one of our high, highly traded goods. That, that makes sense. I don't know if we need to bring in beer. We could just bring in the hops and make it. I think that'd probably be better. It's more efficient. You get more for your soap that way. Because this is just tier one. Well, tier two, I guess. Um, so that would be hops. We can make the malt. And then we'll, we're laughing. So let's just set that to, I don't know, 100 for now. Probably don't even need that many. I guess it'd be good to find out. Let's have a look. Try not to do anything half-assed. So there's our beer production. That's going to put a demand on hops. Although we don't get to see it, do we not? You think you'd be able to see it. Surely it knows there's a demand for it when you have... Oh, I didn't build a brewery. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it says just one per minute is what the demand is there. So that means we only need to be bringing in about maybe 30. 20 to 30. Just leave it at 30 and see how that goes. So that'll be the hops. So we need to make our own malt to get that kicking off as well. Like I said, we'll move these things later. Let's flick it back to daytime. Right, these guys don't even have everything yet. Let's just, I know this is gonna be awful. But let's just do that. Just pave the middle as well. It's actually a gap in the road there also. What have you got going on? So my mates wanted better. to see who's stronger, and turns out I won. But I may or may not need bricks to uh, rebuild something. Please. 
Will you work your magic for us? We have ten what bricks. We do so love to see. Come on. Let's hear it then. Not bad for a big boss. A big boss. Alrighty. Got lots of new farmers. We can upgrade them and fix the uh, worker demands. Or the worker uh, workforce. We lack the requisite materials. Stand to attention for the boss. Now, is there a bright harvest here? There actually isn't. You could actually try to even get all the oil running on just this island and bring it bright harvest to kickstart it, and then it would just supply itself. That could be kind of fun as well. A little self-sufficient island. I'm loving this. Ugh. All right. Don't know if we'll do that. What do you need for... You need engineers, don't you, to work oil plants, or is it workers? Uh, it is workers. But we'd need a, a power... Uh, actually, no, we wouldn't. You don't need a power plant. You just need this. And this is workers as well, isn't it? Feel it reflects the times. Huh. Because we're not giving them electricity, we're just giving them fuel. Hmm. Yeah, if we spam out the amount of workers, we could do this. A snap shortage in, in Steidelsbreen due to shameful mismanagement. Oh, no. Yeah, the Arctic has a few issues like that. We'll have to fix that. Steidelsbreen is the um, second glacier island. Here we are. You imagine complaining about schnapps in this place. Are you kidding me? Oh, we've actually paused the consumption. Is there a reason for that? Oh, I remember. I, I paused it thinking like, oh, maybe that wouldn't affect it on the newspaper. They probably have some at this point. Yeah, they're actually full up. <laughs> I mean, that is shameful mismanagement. I got to agree with them there. <laughs> oh, well. God love them. <laughs> All right. 600 artisans, a lovely even number, Those totally intentional. So you need your canned food and sewing machines. Well, the malt is in production now, and that's going to go to the brewery. But to get the brewery operational, of course, we need to have our first delivery of hops. Uh, might just go somewhere where we can get it and bring it here, just to kickstart it. I don't want to wait seven minutes. Just see, is there any here? There's actually none on the island of Lusk. Uh, you're killing me. You're killing me. Where's the hops? Probably over here. No, none there either. There's 300 back here. Okay, we'll sail up here then. Dropping off 150 fur. And some whale oil. Goddamn. How's everything going back on? Oh, tourists are uh, declining. What's the issue? My own dabbling in Every bit. I never thought taking the omnibus might be such a the mind dizzies with all the comforts and possibilities. Such a lovely city. This seems oddly low, isn't it? 424. Maybe they it can't just be because of that. They're growing, but just taking a while. They must have run short of something. Maybe a cafe ran out, or it could have been just something else. I'll have to keep an eye on it. Not too sure what happened there. But they, they'll hopefully grow back. Souvenirs again, still struggling. So we produced 20 tons and, and consumed 20 tons, but... This is what people said. People are like, oh, it doesn't matter about tra uh, travel time. Well, it clearly does. It clearly does, because we produce the same amount that we consume. We produce slightly over. Slightly. Like, I'm talking, like, barely. Like a second <laughs> worth of uh, production. But because of the travel time it takes to deliver stuff here, it does matter. They run out before they get it. So you have to overproduce. And then travel time doesn't matter. Unless I'm confused, but I don't think I I mean I'm clearly I don't think I am. We know the consumption and production rate is correct. I'll show you. Consumer against uh There it is. Locked even. Twenty to twenty, twenty to twenty. And if it was slightly over in mark um demand, we would see that. But it's not. It's just even. But it's not good enough. When you have travel time it takes to travel from, especially from Cape Trelawney to here, it's, it's quite a long time. So they run out. So you need to you need to overproduce. And that's what I was saying before. I was like, oh, we need to like either overproduce or speed up travel so that it's so fast. <laughs> it would have to be instant though, really, wouldn't it? To make any sense. You've got our interests at heart. All right, so we fixed the workforce. That's all good. Um, we're just waiting on the hops to arrive. Well, while we're waiting on that, we can work on the other things. So canned goods. Canned goods. So we need to create steel. No, we don't. We just need straight iron. And then 
goulash, and cannery. So, I think you can bring in canned food. It's another thing we just bring in. Or we could try to bring in the goulash. Um, I reckon try to bring in the goulash. And we have iron ore here. So iron and goulash combined, we should be fine. And if we scroll through and see maybe what could we... I think we had too many sausages, don't we? It's, I don't know what the rate is on that, but it's it's one of our goods. Oh, no, it's not actually a tier 4. I thought it was. It looks like it is, but it's not actually active at tier 4. Um, I don't know, again, how much we need, but let's just set it to 30. Consumption of goulash is not even... Sorry, is uh, in the canned goods. God damn it. See, we can't actually check it yet until you put down a building. So a cannery, let's put down a building. Always harder with Does this need electricity? No, it doesn't. Alright, so this gives an indication. So one again. So yeah, 30. But that's quite a lot of sausages that have to go. And my critics say I don't take enough risks. Let's try it with the soap as well. 80 to 30. It's not a bad ratio. 3 to 1. And they'll make canned food now. Hopefully that supplies everyone. We'll have to see. Alright, so did he just buy an island? Or tried to? Yeah, he's always buying Tabarine. Someone said something about my warehouses here being inside of the... Oh yeah, so two warehouses inside of the um, the ring here. Good point. These could be um, production buildings. And the, these could probably fit better there. That's a good point. I didn't think of that. Let's get out of here. All right. Oh yeah, there's no um, loading base or piers. So still missing steel beams. You have to let's pick up some steel beams here. Would have done better if I had something on that ship that made it, you know, move without um, impediment. I'm just going to go up to Archibald and see if we can find a uh, One piece underwear suits propeller thing. I find singleton shorts and vests to be tried. All right. So let's have a look at how it's going. So we still haven't... Have we provided the beer? Not yet. Right. We're waiting on that hop. So how long is it going to take? Two minutes, 20. Let's speed it up. So that's beer. The next one would then be a variety theater they need, and also sewing machines. So sewing machines, again, is another bit of a complicated one. Wood and steel. So steel we could bring in, and wood we could just have here. Because I don't want to really put furnaces down. So it's going to... Um, uh, not that it really matters, but cause pollution and stuff, I guess. I don't know. Just like the idea of a self-sufficient island not creating pollution, I suppose. A sewing machine factory. 150 artisans, so they're fine. Alright, cool. So, sewing machine factory is ready to go. Um, workers have everything they need. What about happiness? They'll get their beer. Beer, variety theater is the other thing they want. God, can you imagine? I well, I say can you imagine. I'm sure a lot of people do, but just playing the game this way and not really caring how things look. I don't know why. You must be soulless <laughs> if you do I that. Don't have all I need Every time I do I this, I'm like, I it hurts me. <laughs> Every time I put something down, I didn't think about how, how it looks. I'm like, oh, terrible, terrible, terrible. Each to their own, though, I guess. Even if you don't have a soul. All right. So let's have a look at the consumption rate then. A beer. Are we producing enough with one? Ooh, we're not. All right. It'll be kind of tough to bring all this stuff in. We can increase soap production though. That'll be the the dream. And then we could just use that to trade things. That's two breweries then for this place just for all that beer. Which means that they're going to go up to 60. Uh, and I don't know if we'll be able to supply the malt or the wheat. Let's check that out. Malt is 2 to 2 for the production and consumption, so that's fine. 
Uh, but we're under um, producing wheat. We're taking every And if we decided to do bright harvest on this, we could get rid of a lot of these, save a lot of workforce, and produce more. Bright harvest really is OP. Fields might help. People often ask me what DLCs would you get if you can only get like one or two. I think bright harvest would be almost number one, really. Um, for me, I like new content. I mean, it is new content, but I like new areas to explore. So for me, Land of Lions is number one then probably the Arctic. Even though it's like, oh, the Arctic, you know, it doesn't really do that much for you. And it's a pain because it's so difficult. It's difficult to manage things. I just, I loved the initial story and I like the, I like being able to visit the biome and get different things from it. And with tourism, the way it actually requests things from the Arctic, I actually thought was quite cool. So I really love it for just like a, a change of scenery, another session, you know, it'll always be, that's just me anyway. I just like new content like that. But if you're talking strict, strict gameplay only kind of things, I think Bright Harvest has got to be like with you number one for me. Way. Docklands, maybe just in terms of how easy, how much easier it makes the game. It feels like you're cheating with Docklands um, to an extent as well. Lower down on the list, I think the least, my least favorite, even though I like it now and where we have it and everything, would be Botanical Garden. That's kind of a collectathon. Does look good where we have it now, though. Have to say, I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Uh, anyways, All right, we sped up time enough. Let's turn it back down. So, let's check on things again. So we've added the extra two fields. They're good now as well. Four to four, slightly overproducing. Love to see it. It's by like a pixel. Um, steel is the thing that we have to bring in, though for sewing machines. Now steel is what we're like an amazing exporter of. So it really doesn't make sense to be like, oh, we're gonna use, we're gonna bring it in somewhere. But if the rule is we can't rely on outside ex imports, then this is it. Although I say that, there's no point being like that strict with it. Hang on. I'm not adding new ships, but if we have the one that we already have, it goes to rush and drops off stuff. And I don't see why not. Yeah, when it drops everything, all the niter off at Lusk, it comes back to Malahide. Why not just pick up some steel there? Because we have too much of it back home. We're back there. Just fill up. Why not, I guess? Actually, don't do that. Don't fill up. A hundred should be plenty for that time. But throw it over if there's... Yeah, okay. That makes sense. All right, so that means we don't need to bring in steel through Docklands. Slightly better. I'm having a blast with this. Feels like I'm playing the start of the game again. <laughs> Confounded, tricky this stage. Now I need to go get some construction material anyway. So let's just grab some steel temporarily to kickstart us. And then let's grab some construction material. This city is a magnet for genius. Our very senior lecturer. Uh, oh, I'm an idiot. I said I'd go have a look at as well. Cape Trelawney and look at uh, old Nate and what he needs to uh, transmute those items. Soldiers had no use for the iron or frozen. So. There it is. Um, so you need special scraps, steel, steam motors, and chassis. Ten chassis. Now, he makes ten chassis here, doesn't he? Yeah. That's not a big deal. So steam motors and steel. Alright, so construction material. Ten steam motors. Uh, 10 steel. And we have to find the special scrap, which was 15, I want to say. Just double check on that. It's 20. Uh, 
Alright, so that's that one. There was other things that we wanted um, him to make, right? So, affects all coastal production buildings as well. So that's another 10 chassis, 10 filament, and 10 caoutchouc. Now, he makes a lot of that stuff. I don't know if he makes the caoutchouc. Oh, he does. Nice. Uh, how much scrap was that then? 20 as well. It is. 20 as well. And then the other one was this. So another 10 steel is all I need. And 20 fine scrap, I think it is. Okay, I think that's everything, and we can just go down there. Bring her around. Yep, because he has the filaments, he has the chassis, we just have to wait for it to replenish a little bit. Oh, I think that's it. Any more steam motors, no? Nope. Okay. So um, it'd be interesting to check our population here and see how we've risen, how it's risen. So we just obviously boomed with artisans that we didn't have before. Now we've got 480. We now we had 648 workers. Oh, that's weird. The old Nate music came on here, and it went off. <laughs> 648 workers. Now we have 795. And uh, farmers, we've actually managed to keep the exact same out of pure coincidence. I must have put down the exact same amount of houses. Uh, so, I think, is that it? That might be it. You, so they've got everything they need. They've got everything they need. They need to be close to a church. And they just need this, uh, the sewing machines. So we're just waiting on steel to come in. Which is here now. And those are the harbor master slots. For all the items. So, I think that's it. That's how to get several artisan households and pretty much keep it self-sufficient i mean it's not completely self-sufficient we do have a route that delivers things away you know we send out some uh, schnapps and stuff probably need a little bit more schnapps so with the excess workforce that we have uh, yeah let's just see if i can um see exactly how much fish do we have oh barely barely that much all we'll do is get another one So now I know that I've got plenty. Schnapps is actually... Oh, Schnapps is actually really high. I was going to say we needed even more, but we don't really. And work clothes is fine too. Yeah, so that might be all we need then. So let's just grab a couple extra houses. And then we can pave this properly. I want to look after everyone. an exception. So how much are they going to grow to? Just by two more. So they're only going to grow to 26. And that'll be them full. But that should be a good amount of houses now to create like a nice looking little town as we move these around and keep them next to different things. So I have no idea really ex exactly what I want to do. I just know that I just thought like, oh, it'd be nice to create little pockets. Like just two or three artisan houses and then like several workers around them and maybe a couple of villagers but not have them all right down by the docks like all the other towns just kind of have them like little pockets in between forests or in between uh, farms and things like that that could be kind of nice <clears throat> did we use all of these i think we did right all of the mines are there zinc deposits are in full action the oil hasn't been used that is a kind of nice tempting it is a tempting thing to do set of oil here and even an oil harbor that could take the excess oil away if we just add it to the route. Because we can totally do it. It just takes workers. It would just mean adding a lot more worker households, I guess. You reached a new milestone. Hey, it became a city. I just don't know if it's worth it. You know, I'm, I'm thinking about it. It's like, oh, we've only got 10 free at the moment. We need about 180, is it, I think, to work these things? So... What's that, like, uh, eight more households? I guess it's not that much. Seem to have enough to do that, actually. Yeah, let's, let's try that, then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if they fully grow, we'll have enough workforce. So 
So it just it all just comes down to checking the stats now, making sure we're okay. <clears throat> so that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Yep, yep, yep. Seems good. Seems totally good. The last thing is um, these guys are short on rum. It's the only thing that they can consume that we aren't making them or bringing in. So let's try to see if we can bring some in. Or we could do what we did with the other thing and just bring it over from Docklands or from the uh, from Lusk, which I think is probably easier. Uh, they probably don't even need that much. 50? 50? I, I guess one ton per minute. That's 50 minutes that they can last with that. It just depends how long does that route take. Uh, I guess that's what people use this screen for, don't they? They go to storage and they check like when the ships arrived here and how often. I guess I'd need to... Oh, right, it actually tells you the name of the route. That's so cool. Malahide Production. Two minutes ago, ten minutes ago, fifteen. There's no way it got here that, that many, that often. Oh, but yeah, because of... Oh, yeah. Because I have it going to and from multiple islands. So I'd have to check the one where it's dropping off. Where it's picking up. Yeah, yeah. So it's 23 minutes to 36 minutes. That's how quickly it's doing it now. 24 to 11. So 13 minutes. That seems very quick. 13 minutes? Really? There's no way it's doing this in 13 minutes, right? It can't. Ma oh, but it... Yeah, like I keep saying, it does go in between... It goes forward and back multiple times. So it's a very inconsistent route. Very hard to plot the exact amount you need to deliver. I guess ultimately what you want to check is the pickup of NIDER and how long that takes to do once. That would do it. So the pickup of NIDER, it seems to be doing it very quickly. I just don't get it. This, I can't believe that that's doing that every 15 minutes. That just seems so fast. Yeah, I guess we could follow the ship. Is there multiple ships on it? No, it's just the one. Just seems fast to me. I mean, 15 minutes? Like, I mean, it, I guess so. Here to there, up to there, and then back. 15 minutes? Okay. If that's the case, and these people are only consuming one ton per minute of rum, you only need to deliver 15, 16 tons. I know I don't have to do that, but I'm just kind of curious. I've never tried doing that, like getting it exact, I suppose. One ton per minute. So, if we delivered 30... One ton per minute, 15. Hmm. That's twice as much as they need, I think. Isn't it? Because if it takes 15 minutes to go around, and this was 15, we delivered 15 rum, they would have consumed the rum by the time we got back with another batch. So this is twice as much as they need. So I'll try it with 20. Just just playing around, just seeing if this works. Learning a bit of the statistics. Whereas steel is consumed at twice the rate. So steel could be more like... Uh, like half that, right? Pretty much. Let's try that. And that should be good. Because you might be like, oh, well... You don't want to... Why don't you just take, like... Why don't you just max it out? I could be wrong, but at least here's what I'm thinking. If they were to go to this island of Lusk and grab 300 steel and then drop 300 steel here, and let's say, you know, you only consume a little bit and then it fills up and you tell it not to drop anymore. If I hit that on discard cargo, I'm still throwing 300 overboard. That's a big waste. It's because the route's so complex. If it was just a standard back and forth route... You could just let it fill up with steel and let it go back and forth and they would just keep itself exact. But because I have this route doing multiple things, not saying that's efficient, but just because I, I do have it doing multiple things, it makes more sense to work out exactly how much we need to pick up and drop off rather than... Because um, that, that way I'm not throwing that much overboard, I'm not waste, wasting more than I need, more often than I need to, I think. Anyway, that's my logic. Sorry if I'm uh, gone mental and I don't know what I'm doing anymore, crying. but it seems to make sense in my head. Um, all right, let's head over to here. Only I'm reporting in. We have to buy the chassis. This, this, and this. And then transmute. 
So the first thing we'll transmute is... What does that do? All mountain mines. Damn. Alright, that's the first item. The next one, we need 10 more chassis, 10 steel. Ten, ten, ten. So just have to wait for the chassis to come back. Can I buy steel here? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Alright, we could do that now then, I think. Oh, no, we can't. Sorry. We do have to just wait a little bit. Not that long, though. So we just have to wait till he replenishes ten chassis. But it comes up pretty quickly. He's already got three. So just give it five minutes. I am um, all right, they have their rum, they have their beer, all good. I think we're that's basically right it. I would just need to make sure that we're not taking too much away through Docklands. That would be the only fear. That soap comes back up. So basically we are losing uh, 126 soap every 20 minutes-ish. And we're producing two soap. Hmm, maybe that's not enough then. If we're only producing two soap... That's only 40. Every time he comes around, and yet we're taking away like 120. So we need way more soap. Damn. I guess what you could also do is just trim little bits off and sell like anything else you're, you're building up like excessively over time. We have champagne here. I think that's because of the drinks festivals that go on over time, but I don't think it's that worth, that's worth giving away. I don't know why there's like spectacles here or glasses here. It seems strange. Lots of rum here already. And guns. <laughs> Flour, maybe? Yeah, well, how much flour do we make? Do we not need? Oh, we actually make it evenly to produce bread. Okay, I think we just need more soap, and to do that, we just need, um... I was gonna use that workforce to get the oil, but I guess we'll do it for soap. And that's... Yeah, we've got lots of pigs, don't we? So I guess we'll check that as well. Pigs? Pigs are locked. I'll do. Pigs could do with having... The silos on them. An explosion in one of your factories. A fire broke out. All right, there's two silos on them. So we're not actually increasing any of the workforce needed, but we are increasing the amount of pigs we're producing. Okay. Alright, so that's the silos. Let's just uh, link this up this way. So what next? Pigs tallow. So we've got two tallow buildings there. Let's make another one. Still produce more than we need. Let's make another one. So that's better. Uh, and then soap. Now we're over consuming, so we'll just turn we one off. Change the hooks. And that's better. So that means now we're producing what? Uh, soap wise, six or four? Four. Still not enough though. We're only making 80. We need something like, what was it, 120 or something? Yeah, I need 126. Hold the machine! Break sober! This, is, this would do it. If we had that many, just about. Especially since it takes longer than 20 minutes to get here for the Docklands guy, but... That would do it. We just need to support that now with the right amount of tallow. So we need another tallow building and another pig farm, I think. So 
Something like that, I guess. So that means 90 short now. Okay. Damn, ended up needing a lot more than I thought. But that should be it. That should be it. Uh, the last thing then, I guess, is are we now over-consuming wheat? We are, so we just need one more wheat field to compensate for that. And then that'll be it. Can't upgrade that because we are missing bricks. Okay. What would be nice as well is putting some of these industry buildings in with the little pockets of towns. That would be cool too. And basically all of this work just to sustain some nice looking artisan houses. <laughs> That's the idea anyway. Alright, let's uh, transmute one of the items that we still have yet to get. This one. What are we missing? Chassis? Oh yeah, sorry. To buy it first. Alright, we need 10 more chassis and then we can make the um, electricity giving building. Or uh, item. Alright, make our final construction delivery here. Should be good to go. So are these guys gonna grow? Just speed it up a little bit, let them grow. 78. So we can just about just about put down something for the fuel station, but not for the dockyard as well, is it? Let's see. Oh sorry, the oil is a hundred. And that would encapsulate five deposits. Uh, it looks like we just about fit six actually there. Maybe. I try to like people a little more every day. Does that work? Yeah, it does. Ah, uh, damn it! You're killing me. One pixel. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> so close. Oh well, five is still pretty good. We could move one, obviously, but I think I'll move the ones in Marbella, as people mentioned as well. All right, the workforce is settled. Oh, we've got loads, actually. Oh, yeah, we can do it. I didn't think they'd grow that much. Oh, cool. Actually, we could do it then. We've got enough. So if I just build that, that's 100 gone. And then if I build something like this... New orders. So we could bright harvest a couple little areas as well. Yeah. And then we need an oil harbor also. But that doesn't take a workforce, so that would just be that. I think having it there would be nice. Alright, yeah, so that's basically going to be it. Um, so I might switch now over to the time lapse, or I'll, I'll get ready to anyway. Just want to do a final check on a few things, but I think that's going to be it. Um, wheat is now solid. That's solid. All of that's good. Anything else that's crazy on this island? Nope, that seems fine. We're obviously bringing in uh, steel and goulash. That's okay. I don't have to worry about that. That's okay as well. All right, so consumer goods. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Sausages is a little low. So, again, a couple more pigs probably. And work clothes is actually falling a bit behind as well. And that was it, right? Yeah. Okay, not too bad then. So just a little bit of tweaking to be done for sausages and work clothes. But I think we've also got more pigs than we need. Yeah, way more. So, sausages is a non-issue. 
In fact, you could probably turn one of these off. If you wanted. Yeah, you can. Sausages. So that should be enough sausages now. Yep. And then work clothes is easy enough. When I've turned that off, it should... Wool is even. It's a constant thing, isn't it? You always have to get a bit of everything, it seems. They're one to one, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Actually balances out the farmer workforce pretty perfect. And it looks like we just need one extra worker household. Because those things are placed, so that's that's counting that. Nice. So that's it then, I think. I think, anyway. If there's any little extra things I need to do, then no problem. I'll just do that. Let's just quickly get that final item, and I'll send the ship over, and then during the time lapse, we'll implement it. So, it was this one, wasn't it? Yes. I keep forgetting to actually buy the damn thing. Um... It's pretty nice that he has all that stuff just there for you. I feel like if I was designing it, I wouldn't have done that, but I'm glad they did. Makes it just a little bit easier. Less tedious, I guess. Alright, cool. We have our three items, so we'll head back. Set sail. Only our reporting in. This ship goes pretty fast, because it's got the uh, jet propeller hurricane. 100% cargo slowdown, 25% movement speed. And this gives a 25% movement speed temporarily. All right, so that's that's what we have to work with. So it could be just one last thing we'll just check is how many households do we have? We've got 82 farmers, 65 workers, and 20 artisan households. And we're gonna try and break that up and make it into a nice looking town. Uh, same with the Docklands. Again, might, I might move that around to be part of, uh, you know, actually building out the, what's it called? The different salt pattern works. So they actually get some bonuses when those items arrive. Um, and that's pretty much it. All right, so we're gonna hop over to the time-lapse now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin. The first thing I wanted to do was move the Docklands over from that small northern coast to the larger southern coastline, and that way we could fit all of the salt, pedder, and fishing docks all within the production radius of the Harbour Master office for the Docklands main wharf building. So it's largely just a reorganizational affair. I wasn't planning on adding any extra buildings. You could, of course, really spam the crap out of the salt pedal works if you really wanted to ramp up production but I think with the items that we have which I've now delivered from Cape Trelawney it's somewhere around the vein of 250% because we get that electricity boost which is like a hundred and then I think it's 35 and, and 25 so maybe it's 260% uh, efficiency so not bad you know almost three times effectiveness um, so it's like having, you know, several several other buildings added on top. And I didn't want it to be this big uniform thing, so I wanted two key roads to come right out into the water and then either side of them have some salt pedal works, but also some of the fishing docks and kind of intersperse them just a little bit. And then the very central band here as we lead up, that's going to be the four Harbour Master offices and six of the exports offices, which uh, allow you to have contracts. I always call them exports contrast, tron contract modules, but I guess they're offices. Anyway, it's quite fun doing that. Because of it being staggered, you have to kind of fill these gaps with the actual kind of quayside filling stoneworks. I don't know what you'd call it. That that raw brick material that you can kind of place anywhere in the water. Not the road, but you know, the one that fills in. So you kind of fill that in and then you can add in the artisan ornaments. If you have Docklands, you have those Docklands ornaments uh, and add in some trees or some shops or some cranes and pulleys and fishing traps and things like that. So we'll get to it in a moment, I guess. But down by the fishing areas, I like to try to use the fishing traps and up by the bigger things, the bigger, heavier industry. I have like the cranes and pulleys. I always like to think that makes more sense. I love using this. Obviously, we don't need the storage, but it's a great ornament building in a way. Um, the actual storage building, if you switch it to have the kind of warehouse look to it instead of the open air storage, I always think that can look quite good as well. Anyway, uh, just to break the news here, uh, this is going to be just a time lapse focus down by the docks and by the, this particular coastline. I ran out of time, this took an hour, 
uh, by the end of it, so I, I just completely ran out of time. I thought I could do the whole island, but it's clear to me now that there is no way I can do that. It's probably going to be over the course of two or three even episodes because of so many buildings we added. Uh, there's a lot of houses to move, there's a lot of industry to figure out. The idea here is that this coastline is going to be the Docklands coastline with a little town next to it. And then, as I said in the episode, I didn't want just one town all next to the coast, as is quite normal and natural to see in Anno. I wanted to kind of create these separate towns across the island. So the one down here is largely focused on the docks themselves. We're going to have a lot more workers, a lot more farmers, um, mostly workers, and then a couple of artisan households. I didn't want the towns to be isolated to one class or uh, to, to only cater to one class specifically. I wanted them to have a bit of everything, so it just looks a bit nicer that way. Uh, so this one, like I said, is largely going to be workers, and then maybe further in the town, you know, we can have some potato farms, some sheep farms, and that could be the farmer hub, almost, and then maybe one that's a bit more built up, we can have the artisans and stuff as well. So there's still plenty of houses, but we're not, I'm jumping ahead. Uh, so I basically just kind of finished the key side now, I, I kind of know where I am in terms of how much, like the, the, the coast is pretty much done, and I'm now just figuring out, okay, you know, I'm flying by the seat of my pants when doing these things. I don't know what I'm going to be designing out, and this is why things take me so long. A lot of trial and error. So I was kind of thinking, like, do I even want houses down here? But ultimately, I have settled on this idea now. Which is, as you can see, we have a little warehouse down there, a couple of worker households, and then a couple of little farmers next to the fishing, because uh, that's where they obviously work, uh, just along the coastline there. So I wanted to kind of separate out where the supply warehouse is going to be. It felt like... It should be more part of the dock, so I kind of broke, I made a second one, even though we don't really need it. And uh, put them both down here with a little wall around them. And then the town will kind of go around that wall in with a road coming in from the um, the main docks. Like the main actual wharf, Grand Harbor, whatever. The problem with separating these out into having three different towns, of course, is that they all need their own thing. You know, even just adding a uh, some workers, they're going to need their own church. And the school for the artisans and, and all of that. Or school for the workers, even. Uh, so you end up doubling up on a lot of the same stuff, unfortunately, if you want to have them at least meeting their main demands. Which I do. So just adding again, just filling out this kind of right side, I want it to be even, like an even growth of population coming in from the coastline, not just the dock specifically. Uh, so I realized they needed a school, I completely forgot about that, so I just moved some houses out of the way, decided that the school was going to go here, and with a nice garden in the front of it. Kind of deciding where the pubs can kind of fit. This is where we're deciding, uh, or designing a little garden in front of the school, basically. I was kind of deciding here, going through the menus, what would fit, what would make most sense. So I thought a little pathway that leads into that initial entrance, instead of, like, the road, but with a garden outside and then some trees and stuff for them to play in, or have a little memorial statue, etc. Uh, just filling in some of the ornaments between the gaps of the houses now, a lot of clotheslines between the farmers, some signposts where there's turns in the road, some trees. Uh, where it kind of makes sense if there's also curves in the roads as it goes further into the backs of the houses. Gave that tree, uh, gave that house a little apple orchard just for themselves. Uh, I noticed that our newspaper, we had a couple of explosions that I forgot to tend to. And uh, we're after suffering a happiness debuff of negative 10, which means our tourists are going to leave. 25% of them are going to leave, I think. And um, that's going to hurt their overall boost in population. See, that's why you can see population fluctuating a bit. Uh, so, same sort of thing with the garden we had on the previous island of Scaries, a kind of a beer garden outside of um, the pub. And then I just decided just to place three artisan households down. Very, very moderate amount, but I think it looks really good like that. Just a couple of them near the, near the market um, and near the school. Just seemed to make more sense that way. I'd completely forgotten to add a church, so this one took me a while to kind of figure out where I'd want it. Um, I, kinda, I actually made a cut there, I don't know if you saw it, but I had played around with the idea of moving out some stuff in the center, and I was like, no, I actually think it looks kind of fine on the side. Uh, we just put a wall around it, pave the roads a little bit, make sure it's in good standing order, and then just lightly spur, uh, sparse, place some trees sporadically around the back. So I thought I was done there, but I thought, I'll just get rid of some of the houses that are in the back. So all of this stuff here, this is all the stuff that I have to work on and figure out where we're going to put it. Um, and then, of course, we need more schools, we need more... You know what I've just realized as well? We didn't give them a fire station. Probably need one down by the docks themselves. That might work instead of the um, second fire, uh, second supply warehouse, actually. Yeah, a fire station would look good in there, next to the docks. And it would reach most of the town, I think. 
Especially if you put an entrance out the back, actually, through the wall. Yeah, I might do that. Um, but that's basically it. So in the next episode, right at the beginning, I won't wait till the end, we'll do another time lapse and start modifying some other part of the island of Malahide and build another little farming town next, I think, with potatoes and sheep farms and stuff like that. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you want to support this series directly, you can click the Join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. If you don't see the Join button, it means the video has been copyright claimed, but you can still join from the channel page on desktop. You can also link your account to our Discord to get a special role on there that will give you access to the Senate House and a few other perks.